for me, directing is about entertaining. The Mummy movies are a romantic, fun romp with some mind-blowing special effects. You know, I love that. It's a great combo. The epicness is the best part of this movie, you know, the big action scenes. It's very epic style battles, which is always fun to try and give a different edge to. Sometimes Rob is like a spring day. Oh, it's in. Happy. So the days he's Hurricane Katrina. Action! <laughs> Make it count. Let's do this once. <laughs> Hi, Rob. <laughs> Less than eight weeks. It's getting scary, actually. Good thing we don't shoot the whole movie on the first day. Rob coming on was one of the great good fortunes that the movie could have. We had always set the movie in China. Rob has his own great cultural knowledge and enthusiasm of this exact area. This is all about using Chinese history in a kind of unusual way, using the great goodwill of the mummy, the great characters that Steve Summers set up. People always go, oh, but you didn't direct it. I'm like, oh, look, I, I love it. I love the franchise, and I love the characters, and I just hope that it keeps getting better and better. And this one is edgier and bigger and a little more, you know, like a film of mine. You need to bring together so many skill sets in the director. You know, they have to be able to mount such a very, very complex and difficult production. This show is, it really is a playground. It, you have it all, two different periods, different countries. It's, it's really incredible. I think for the running shot, we can have the floor pushed all the way up against the wall. So two shots, one on the floor, and then and we one. can move the floor back here. And then the floor drops, right? So, boom, boom. so let him run like so he's here, two he steps. Yep. Gets to here, we cut to this angle. I think we can sell it. Okay. I think for the length of time, we're cool. Super. We are super. We just got to go do it now. <laughs> <laughs> A week from Friday, the big shoot begins. They have such an excellent facility in Montreal. There are so many talented sculptors, designers, artists. We're building uh, the, the set for uh, the movie. Uh, it's going to be a big uh, cavern. Yeah. I have a question. I have the mold, the, the, the stature. It's 25 inch. This is only 21 inch. <laughs> <laughs> we have a statue right here, we can see yes, it. So this is going to have to get a little redesign on it quickly. The front of the chariot is going to have to be altered because you see we can't really fit. So we're now one and a half days before shooting going to alter the whole front of the chariot. <laughs> you have these issues all the way through and then eventually you're done. I just want to tell you, I'm really so happy to be making this movie with all of you. The first day we started filming, Rob was like, everyone hold hands. He gathered everybody in the casting crew, and we all stood in the circle. I think you can never quite have enough appreciation for the fact that we get to do this. We have a, a little family. That's what I hope we will be as a is a filmmaking family. He said, this journey of the next five months is going to be like a circle. We're starting here, and we're coming back to here, and each one of us is responsible to keep this circle together. Allons-nous! <laughs> I never was in a editing room where I said, gee, I had too much coverage. It's a lot of logistics and planning. You have uh, seven cameras and 24 people in the camera department uh, working with the DP and the director, setting the shot, talking about everything that we want to try to accomplish, and then marshalling these forces to sort of put it all together. It's like you got to make this like war footage, okay. right? Okay. Not, it's, not, it's too perfectly framed. Shake things Shake up. It. Action! Do it! Do it! We're starting to get into the meat of what these movies are about. This is the first stunt that we're doing uh, on the picture. We're setting up for the big rope swing. So this is basically the start of the whole fight. And one camera will be over Brendan. Whenever you have to put the cameras in odd corners, you usually know you're on the right track. 
Today we're swinging two main actors, Alex and Lynn, off the scaffolding. We have three riggers operating. Because they swing off, we have to vary their actual height and land them. So they're actually operating the whole system through a system of pulleys so that they can raise and lower them onto the ground and land them. It's mainly getting the time right. You obviously are nervous that it all goes correctly. Fear of failure is the biggest fear in the film business, I always find. Even stuntmen, they don't worry so much about getting hurt as failing. Not today, we hope. <laughs> Tagline for... Uh, Isabella, make sure that she's safe. Cameras. Okay, now action. Bob was very helpful in encouraging me to take a combat guns training course. Let him learn to work with it. All right. Gunfire. Pocket. I needed to gain some respect for how they work, the different types of them, the period guns. Have you ever seen a Walter P-38? Tommy's a 38. So Cold 1911. The Thompson submachine gun. And there's a lot of them, but that's Rick O'Connell. I mean, he's, he can pick up any weapon and make it work. My stunt training and gun training was one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. You look great. You look like Catherine Hepburn. Shoot <laughs> We had a good start. The actors are settling nicely into their roles. I think there's a good flow now, and it'll only get better. You come back here on Monday, and we can really <laughs> kick some ass. Yeah. Right? You look to Alex. By the time the camera is here, I've already finished all the hits. Well, it's our first day. Gateway set, so I'm very eager to get it on film. Gun battles are there are different ways to shoot them, and I just thought there's a certain flow, adrenaline that the actors get when it's a real choo -choo -choo -choo. They're give and take and give and take, and they feel like they're really in a battle scene. The next up, we'll have gunfire so and bullet hits. Bar. We've got bullet hits on the side. You're going to be behind the column over there, and he's going to be firing at you. But Brendan's firing whenever he feels like it. On action, he's putting in a stick mag and firing. We crying out on action then. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we've got a 50-foot Techno Crane and we've got a 33-foot Equipment Extreme T12. It goes in on you very close, so you get good actors like these are to react in a very real way to a firefight situation. That's what a director does, is create the context in which performers can really find the truth of this given moment. And shoot it. Three, two, one, action! It's pretty amazing to be here on this location in Montreal, pretending to be the Himalayas. Because when you get out there on that set, it's extremely convincing. I've never seen snow in my life, so this is the closest I've been to snow, you know? It's kind of really cool. Good morning. We need to fasten this to the pants. We're doing the post-avalanche sequence. After the avalanche is wiped out, the Buddhist temple, all our characters are buried alive. For me, it's really exciting to see the accomplishment of getting to this point, seeing what was once just an idea on a piece of paper, now movie magic. And then four or five days from now, we'll be out of here, and they'll be taking it down, you know? There's something about the ephemeral nature of sets, because you get to do it. You get to make it a vision of your own and show things that people have never seen before, and then it all blows away. But that's OK, because in fact, in a way, it is permanent, because it's on film forever. On the move. Say to yourself, well, how would you do it if we had a real functioning bowfighter? And you would probably have a helicopter, and you'd have two aircraft trying to travel at the same speed. But two planes, as much as they want to stay in parallel concert, they wouldn't be able to. So the cameraman would constantly be fishing for the subject. So in order to do that here on a stage, you kind of deconstruct the
the shot as it would be done for real and try to create that feeling with the equipment we have available. Three, two, one, done! The hope is we'll convince people we were truly flying around. Do that again. Ready? I'll go first. I love it when the cast gets along with each other. I've been on movies where it's tense and it's not fun. So when they like each other, you see that in the film. Star, Jet Li, started today. And I'm very happy to see the Emperor finally walking on the set. He brings it to life. Even the villains have an emotional life. It helps make these guys people. So Jet has embraced that. Got uh, Today we're here to set Jet Li's hands on fire and hopefully have him make a ball of fire into a ball of ice. And he shapes like a sun. Well, he'll be doing a real fire. He'll have the fire retardant stuff on his hands. He watched a few rehearsals and he said he was okay with it. I'm sure he's gonna be fine. He's been doing stunts a long time, but I have to say I've never lit anyone this big on fire before. All right, do we do any makeup checks now uh, before we, we gel? Thank you, Patrick. I'm yeah, it's very cold. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. You only have a little time okay. before you feel some heat. Roll sound. Ready, and three, two, one. Fire. And put it out. Everybody good? OK. Glad we're done with that. <laughs> That's quite a tricky shot with the hands, as you saw there. Very impressive. You're a brave man. I'm just going to lie around on a stretcher for this morning, and then I'm going to take my shirt off. Someone's going to pour magic water on me, and everything will be fine. Life is good. <laughs> OK, so then I'll say pour, and then awake. We're not even in, in China yet. That's when things get really real. Once you get there, the location becomes a character in the movie even more so. And cut. Very good. For Montreal, it's a wrap. We haven't really even gotten to the big stuff yet. So what lies ahead is going to be great fun. Interesting morning. First morning in China. All right, ready? Let's go. When you're here, like we are on the first day of shooting here for a main unit, it's, a, it's an army. When you have 1,200 people on your crew, you're really a little military operation. The transportation, communications, equipment, food supply, and especially when you're coming out to the middle of the desert. I mean, this really is like a massive archaeological dig. It's just fantastic. I just feel a new reality has gripped the picture. This will give it authority. It's bloody cold out here. And the door is open. It's backlit. He comes through the door as a silhouette. Well, basically, the way I've, I've worked is I've scheduled it with uh, PJ that we're shooting where the light's perfect. So we're shooting towards the east in the morning and towards the west for the sunset. Fortunately, the sand's dark enough that it's not reflecting too much light. It's just sort of giving a nice warm glow, which is what we're after. I think we have um, crews from several countries all speaking different languages, but uh, everyone's getting on really well. It's sort of universal film language. It always works. 33, take one on A. Remember, there's a continue. If the dust is engulfing you, I'm going to have to wait till it clears. Let's see what happens. Set. Ready and action. Calm down. All right, and action. 
Action. And cut. Cutting that. All right, good, very good. Let's hear it for a bit. Dude, you had it coming for you, big fella. Start out of the film. You can feel whether the movie gods are blessing you with magic. We've had nothing but blessings. We never lost a day for weather. And we're now in our 73rd or fourth day of shooting. Yeah, we're rained out. We haven't had anything remotely close to being rained out or couldn't do whatever we had planned. What do you do when you get rained? Shoot. Figure out a way to use it. There's always a way to find a good thing in a bad situation. This heavy mist, beautiful, pearlescent, you know, nature's given us a 360 uni light. And shooting, bell up. And action crane. Thank you for a really great day. It was an ass kicking day, but we got some great scenes. It was very difficult getting this much today. It was a real stretch, but we made it. What we've been able to create, capture in this area, it's been really fantastic. But I'm definitely ready to go to Shanghai and have a bath. Right now we're in Shanghai Film Studio. We are one hour away from Shanghai City, and this is the biggest studio in Shanghai. Day 76, first night shoot. That's pretty good. I'm happy. Get up at noon, go to bed at dawn. Much more of the schedule I keep normally. <laughs> yeah, man, now we're back in the pocket of righteousness. All the toys, all the fun. We're going to light you from here, and right before action, literally, you'll yeah, come light here, when so you're up. This looks nice, though. Looks it's very nice. nice. Good back to everybody. Pay attention to all the crap we were crashing through. I'll hold here. You'll hold there. Yeah, okay. I think I'm just going to ignore that part. <laughs> it so beautifully. He just had great timing, great energy. <laughs> it was a great fit. We have a trolley and we probably have several hundred pounds of fireworks in it. We expect to see a lot of fireworks. A lot of We've got our stunt team around here on the pavement. Three, two, one, bang! All right, stand by, let's get ready to shoot. Here we go, we're running. So on action, you guys get up, and it's like, whoa! Well, how much do you love this thing? I mean, honestly, I walked on the set today, and I said, now we're making a movie, because we got that thing. We got a thing on tracks, and then it's on that other gizmo, and then it'll spin around. It's just to get you guys in sharp focus, but the whole world is a blur. Roll down. Do you know I did? And catch up! Any time I, as a filmmaker, can give the audience a visceral feeling of any experience that the actors are having in a two-dimensional plane where I can't really spin them in their seats like an amusement park, it's, a, it's something I aspire to do. You don't just watch the films, you experience them. Unbelievably, today is Jet's last day, and it's really uh, sort of sad on one hand, but also exciting on the other, because it means that we've completed such an important part of our adventure. Are you set?
It's a loss. People are happy to go back to their family, but at the same time as partying with people that we feel we've known more than our family for all that time. We spend more time with, uh, I spent more time with you than I have with my wife in the last nine months. <laughs> you know? It's been quite a trip, literally and figuratively, across the planet. So many beautiful sets. It feels good. This was all the good stuff in front of the camera and all the harmony behind it. Just a damn fine time. Making a big, swinging, swashbuckling, action-packed, charming, beautiful film. I'm a happy guy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. There we go. Three mummy movies will have entertained like a billion people. And that is no small achievement. There's something to be said to saving your best for last. How about that? Fire for an ending. ending.